This is Dr. Johnson at Quillen College of Medicine. I want to talk a little bit about the Alpha Helix. The Alpha Helix was discovered by Linus Pauling, and he won a Nobel Prize for that in 1954. The, he came to the realization after studying the chemical structures of amides and the polypeptide backbone of a, of a protein is actually just an amide polymer, and that there were hydrogen bonds were possible between the nitrogen in that peptide backbone, the hydrogen on that nitrogen, and the oxygen on the carbonyl carbon, and that is due to the fact that the oxygens have a partial negative charge and the hydrogens have a partial positive charge, and that makes for hydrogen bonding. The he uh, instead of a lot of people have been proposing to have five residues per turn, a 20 residues per turn, and Pauling knew the chemistry, so he said, well, 3.6 residues per turn is the best. It gives us the most hydrogen bonds, and so that's what he proposed, and that's what made him, one of the things that made him famous. Now, these are intra-chain hydrogen bonds. You cannot have a proline residue in an alpha helix because of the way it, uh, it would disrupt it because proline is an amino acid rather than an, an, an amino acid. It's an amino acid rather than an amino acid. Uh, you see a lot of alpha helix in keratin and hair and wool, and uh, because it's this curly Q structure, it tends to be soft and stretchy and holds a lot of air and therefore uh, is warming to us. Um, and the... Uh, now, hydrogen bonds are weak, only about 1 to 5 kcals. Water is stabilized by hydrogen bonds. It has a partial uh, negative charge on the oxygen, partial positive charge on the hydrogen, and these can interact, uh, this hydrogen, with an oxygen on another uh, molecule of water. However, single bonds are very uh, <coughs> strong, 50 to 100 kcals per mole, and double bonds about 120 to 170, and triple bonds about 195 kcals per mole. What you're looking at on the screen now is an alpha helix that's displayed with a uh, software program called Discovery Studio that is free to academics from, ex from a company named Accelerus. Uh, and the, the program's very nice and r runs on PCs, but not on Macs, but it's a very useful program. And you can see all the, uh, this polypeptide chain, and it doesn't look like a helix until you move it and start looking down the center of it, and you can see that it's a helical structure there. You can also, we can go to the view and display, and we can go to protein and do a solid ribbon, and you'll see the solid ribbon there. But, and so you can see that it is an alpha helix. It tends to, it, this software colors uh, alpha helix ribbons, alpha helical segments in red, and then others in uh, and beta sheets in sort of a bluey green. But you can see those are outside. Now we're going to take that off again display style and uh, remove that uh, so then so but we're going to look and show you the hydrogen bonds the hydrogen bonds are uh, monitors we'll go to oops monitors and then H bonds and you can see all the hydrogen bonds stabilizing this uh, in, in on the peptide bond it's a peptide backbone it has it's not on the side chains but on the peptide backbone that you see those and so here's a an example of one uh, right there between a carbonyl uh, carbon and you don't see the hydrogen on there we'll tell you what we'll do we'll add uh, structures and uh, chemistry hydrogens we're going to add hydrogens and you can see all the hydrogens in there now and so you can see those how those hydrogens are involved in those hydrogen bonds uh, but you know it just cl clutters it up a bit to have all the hydro hydrogens in to look look at it so we'll go back and uh, take the chemistry hydrogens and we're going to sorry hide those Oop. so uh, but you can see the polypeptide chains so and we're going to add what we do is we're going to add labels we're going to add the amino acids to these and so you can see the amino acids as we go down this is a glycine and here's the peptide bond between glycine and alanine and you can see the car alanine has one methyl group on the side chain and then we go to uh, valine 
uh, number three, and you can see the valine side chain sticking out here, and then asparagine and so down. This is a histidine. Uh, this is a glutamine down here at number nine, a lysine at number seven, an arginine at number uh, 12. See the arginine side chain. We have a tryptophan at 10. Uh, there is a uh, tyrosine down at uh, 16. Here's a cysteine that can have an SH group on it, and methionine down here that has a sulfur within the uh, polypeptide chain. So the carbons are covered, colored gray, the nitrogens are colored blue, and the oxygens are red, uh, and the sulfurs are yellow. So it's a uh, good way to look at it, and so you can see the alpha helix. So we've, Hopefully you understand a little bit more about this, the structure of this thing.